What is going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD with my unboxing of the just released iPad mini. Now I know your guys' sub boxes are probably flooded with tons and tons of these. So if you guys chose to watch it here, I love you guys for that. You get a virtual high five and I hope you enjoy this video. So we're not going to waste any time. I am unboxing the white and silver 16 gig Wi-Fi only model. We got a little side profile shot of the little guy. And as we flip it to the side, we can then see the iPad mini text. We will go ahead and set it back down and proceed with the unboxing. We'll give it a slight, just a slight shake and bake and go ahead and pop the top off. And there she is. Or if for whatever reason you want your iPad mini to be a dude, there he is. We'll go ahead and gently lift it by the plastic tab as Apple always does an awesome job with their packaging. I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick tease of the silver back. And from initial impressions, it looks very clean and polished. From there, we'll go ahead and ever so carefully take off the plastic. And for me, that is probably my favorite part of an unboxing is unwrapping that new piece of gear that you can't wait to get your hands on. Now that we got a little sneak peek, I'm gonna go ahead and set it off to the side just for a second, but we're gonna go ahead and boot it up as we continue this unboxing. And the first item up is the literature, nicely packed away. We'll go ahead and open that up, and the first thing we see is the iPad mini quick start guide, followed by the warranty info, and then last but not least, we have the Apple stickers, and it wouldn't be an Apple unboxing without those damn stickers. We then have the USB wall charger, which is five watts, as opposed to the 10 watt version on the regular sized iPad. So I will be interested in seeing how quickly this charges up the iPad mini. From there, we have the USB to lightning cable. That of course is gonna plug into the lightning connector, same as we saw in the iPhone 5, the fifth gen iPod touch, and the new nanos. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through the setup process. I'm not gonna bore you guys entering passwords and whatnot. And there we go, bam, we are ready to go. So this is rocking a 7.9 inch display. It is non-retina, so it features a 1024 by 768 resolution. Same as the iPad 1, same as the iPad 2. Now, just like any other iDevice, we have a physical home button down at the bottom. And towards the top, we have a FaceTime HD 720p camera that also shoots stills at 1.2 megapixels. We'll go ahead and flip it on to the back. I'll get you guys some close-up shots so you guys can kind of geek out at different angles. I really do like the silver Apple logo as well as the silver buttons. It kind of gives it a really clean and classy look. Now the camera on the back, which is dubbed the iSight camera, shoots at five megapixels and also shoots 1080p video. But because you are watching a TLD unboxing, we're gonna go one step above and beyond. Here's a quick little shot at how it looks and it actually looks pretty decent. It is a little smaller than a traditional iPad. So you will only look like a half weirdo shooting video on your iPad mini. Now from there, I'm gonna give you guys a quick and initial Geekbench score, which is over 700. I will be testing this out against the iPad 4th generation, the iPad 2, the 3, even the Nexus 7. So if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you do so. It is annotated conveniently up in the top left-hand corner so you do not miss out on those videos. I will also be doing gaming videos. So again, giving you guys a little bit extra content to consume in this unboxing. Here's a quick look at Asphalt 7 so you can see how it looks on the seven inch form factor, full resolution. Go ahead and ignore my uh, lack of driving skills, but in a little shameless defense, uh, it is a little harder looking through the camera monitor and everything as opposed to looking at the iPad mini itself. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and favorite as it does help the channel out. Again, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that button so you don't miss out on any of the content coming up. I will have the iPad mini smart cover review coming up shortly, so I will see you guys later.